Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Ukraine's air forces have destroyed over 8,000 air targets launched by Russian troops. Ukraine's Air Force Commander Mykola Oleschuk shared the information. Over two and a half years, the Air Force has destroyed more than 8,000 enemy air targets, hundreds of aircraft and helicopters, thousands of cruise missiles and drones. Ukrainian pilots have flown over 20,000 combat missions, most of them involving the combat use of aviation weapons. Using modern Western weapons with high quality and skill, the Air Force soldiers showed great courage, heroism, professionalism and ingenuity, he said, congratulating the Air Force on their professional holiday. Oleschuk also added that last year he addressed the NATO Air Force commanders with the slogan, Victory on the ground is forged in the sky. The commander called on his colleagues to create a strong air coalition and on the eve of the full-scale invasion, he spoke to them about the closed skies over Ukraine and the need to strengthen Ukraine's air defense. The battle for the sky continues. The enemy is attacking us with bombs and missiles around the clock, conducting aerial reconnaissance and striking with drones every night. The Air Force, side by side with the air defense of the entire Ukrainian Defense Forces, repels the attacks. As far as possible, they destroy enemy air attack equipment, hit the enemy from the air and keep the defense on the ground, Oleschuk emphasized. According to him, during the large-scale invasion, 4,475 servicemen of the Air Force were awarded state awards for personal courage and selflessness in the defense of state sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ukraine. 47 of them became heroes of Ukraine, 25 posthumously. Today, I congratulate all servicemen and veterans of the Air Force on the 20th anniversary. I thank everyone who makes every effort for our victory. I am grateful to our partners, volunteers, civil society and everyone who helps us to become stronger in the fight for peace and freedom for our Ukraine. The commander summarized. The U.S. is preparing to send additional combat aircraft to the Middle East amid rising tensions in the region, the New York Times writes. According to the newspaper, the plan stems from the possibility of an Iranian strike on Israel following the assassination of Ismail Haniyeh, head of the political bureau of the Palestinian movement Hamas in Tehran. A U.S. military official told the paper that American forces in the Middle East were taking necessary measures to increase combat readiness. How many planes to send is still being worked out, the New York Times noted. Lloyd Austin, U.S. Defense Secretary, has ordered adjustments to U.S. military posture designed to improve U.S. force protection, to increase support for the defense of Israel, and to ensure the United States is prepared to respond to various contingencies, Pentagon spokeswoman Sabrina Singh said in a statement. Austin directed additional warships that can shoot down ballistic missiles and fighter jets to the region as well as to Europe, she said. The U.S. already has other military resources in the region, such as the USS Wasp amphibious assault ship that can help with quick responses and possible evacuations. Three other officials, two Israeli and one American, told AI Monitor that high-ranking U.S. military officials in the Middle East were caught off guard by the assassination of Haniyeh. Iranian officials have said they will consult with their proxies before taking action. Two U.S. military sources who spoke to security briefing on condition of anonymity said conventional strikes like Iran's April 13th massive drone and missile barrage against Israel are likely. Lebanese Hezbollah Iran-backed militias in Iraq and Yemen's Houthi rebels may also join in the anticipated attack, particularly given the recent high-profile Israeli strikes on their turf. This time, however, the barrage may be heavier in a bid to overwhelm US-led attempts to collectively defend Israeli airspace. The fusillade of more than 300 missiles and drones fired by Iran and its proxies in April were largely intercepted by Israeli air defenses backed by US, UK, France and Jordanian fighter aircraft, as well as US Navy destroyers, all armed with early warning intelligence from Gulf states. On July the 31st, Hamas reported Haniyeh's death in an Israeli strike on his residence in Tehran, where he had attended the inauguration ceremony of Iranian President Masoud Pezeshkian. The al Hadath TV channel reported that Haniyeh had been killed in a direct missile strike. Musa Abu Mazouk, 
Deputy Chief of the Hamas Political Bureau, vowed that Haniyeh's killing would not go unanswered. A source in the Israel Defense Forces told TASS that the Israeli military did not comment on reports of Haniyeh's death.